Good afternoon and welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. This is a gatherer's guide to good food. And once again, we're here at my restaurant in Norwich, The Gatherers. Today I'm gonna to be cooking sort of a, my take on a classic, which is the uh, shepherd's pie. So we like to call this a picker's pie or a gatherer's pie. Uh, so basically what we've got here is one large white onion, which has been chopped and is cooking off in olive oil. The reason I've done this is it takes a little time, about 10 minutes to get nice and golden, almost going brown. That's gonna make it really nice and sweet. Then we've got about 100 grams of chopped mushrooms here. Uh, they're going to be lovely in this dish, add a bit of texture. We've got some toasted pine nuts, which I consider to be nature's bacon. They add sort of almost like a pork-like flavour to this dish. Then we've got 150 grams of lentils that I've cooked off for about 15 minutes. We've got two medium-sized carrots, which have been chopped. Two sticks of celery, again chopped to the same kind of size as the carrot, you can be a bit rough with that. Uh, we've got four cloves of garlic, you can reduce or add more if you like. We've got a tablespoon, a heaped tablespoon anyway, of uh, tomato puree. Uh, 500 ml of dark ale. We've got mushroom ketchup, which is like uh, Worcester sauce, so that's going to add a real depth of flavour as well. About a teaspoon of fresh thyme and a teaspoon of fresh rosemary there. And a little bit of veggie stock, which we might need later on. We've got some potatoes here, about 1.5 kilograms of Maris Piper. Now I've boiled and mashed those up already, I've put them through a ricer just to speed things along. I've also added about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, a little bit of salt and also a little bit of truffle oil in there as well. Okay, so as I've said, we've got the onions cooking off here. They've been cooking for about 10 minutes to go sort of translucent and golden. They're just about turning brown. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the carrots and we're going to let those cook off for about a minute. Once they've cooked off, I'll just add them now to speed things along. We're going to add the celery. We're going to let the celery cook down for about another third, further minute. But just for this demonstration, I'm going to add the mushrooms now as well. So once you've added the carrots, about a minute cooking off, then the celery, another minute. Then we're going to add the mushrooms. And with the mushrooms, you can add the garlic. So the garlic, the mushrooms, the celery and the carrots are all in there. I'm just going to give that a little mix up and we're going to let those mushrooms and the garlic cook down and that's going to take another couple of minutes. So everything's cooking down in the pan. Now with the onions here you can see that I just uh, let them go slightly golden brown. Uh, what I sometimes do is take that a lot further until they really start to caramelise and that adds a bit of a sweeter richer depth of flavour. But now what we're going to do is we're going to add our tomato puree into the pan. We're going to add our herbs as well. And then we're just going to add a little dash of this mushroom ketchup. So that's in there. And like I said, that's a bit like Worcester sauce. So that's a really good thing to put in there. We're just going to let that cook down for about 30 seconds. And then once the tomato puree is cooked down in there just a little bit, we're going to add our ale. Now there's 500 mils here, and we're going to add that in. And what we're going to do is we're going to let the alcohol cook off. That normally can take up to a minute or two, it depends how hot your pan is. This is, should all really be done on a medium, medium heat when you're starting off. You can then turn that up when you add the ale, that's going to help everything cook up a little quicker. Alcohol's been cooking off for about two minutes now. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to add a few cracks of black pepper and a little pinch of salt. Then I'm going to add the lentils and also the pine nuts. I've got a couple of handfuls of pine nuts there and they're going to add a bit of texture, depth of flavour, really great, it's a little unique. Now, about a minute or two ago I put some ale in here. This kind of recipe normally calls for red wine. Um, I really like the flavour you get from the ale, so that's my take on this. If you want to use red wine, use red wine. The thing about a recipe is it's, it's a guide, it's not set in stone. So if there's something you like, add more. If there's something you dislike, take it away. You know, you've got to learn to adapt with these things. Uh, so this is my take, but if you, like I said with the garlic earlier, if you wanted less garlic, add less garlic. If you want to use red wine instead of ale, use red wine instead of ale. It really is just a guide. Okay, so that's all cooking down. We're gonna leave that for another minute or two, just so we can assess whether we need to add any of this stock in there, or whether the gravy is at the right kind of amount. Okay, so you can see I've added the mashed potato on top here. What we're going to do is take our fork, score some lines into this. This is going to just rough it up a bit. When you stick it in the oven, what it's going to do is create a really nice 
crispy texture on the top, that's what we want. So I'm just going to rough that up, really round it all over. We're going to have our oven at 200 degrees, and we're going to stick this in there for about 20 to 30 minutes. The reason I say 20 to 30 minutes is you need to keep an eye on it, and, you know, check. When it's golden and crispy on top, that's when it's done. So we're going to take this away, stick it in the oven, 20 to 30 minutes. Once it's out, that's it, that's the recipe done. Okay, so this has been in the oven for about 25 minutes. You can see it's got a really perfect crispy top. So that is my take on the old uh, shepherd's pie, cottage pie. See, it hasn't got any meat in it, so it's neither of those. This is the picker's pie, or the gatherer's pie. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got a new video dropping every day this week, so I will see you soon.